today we're talking about 10 guns that should be in the next track title, which for now we're gonna call Call of Duty Black Ops 4. And this list is based off of that job listing that provided us with little information that said that the next track game will be set in a modern era. And I wanna know, after you finish watching this video, drop a weapon that you personally want to see in the next game. And hey, I may feature that in the part 2 if needed. And hey, I'm doing a mini giveaway, link should be in the description. It's gonna be over soon, so if you're interested, check that out. And if you happen to be new as well, make sure to subscribe with notifications. We're getting super, super close to Call of Duty World War 2 release and the hype is building up. But coming in at our number 10 spot, I'm talking about my Niba ACR. Now, ACR is an assault rifle in this thing called Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. And hey, surprise, right? I actually, li like last night, check this out. Last night, I went over on my PS3. I connected that shit. I played on that shit because the reason is that Modern Warfare 3 still costs 40 bucks on Steam. And I was just like, hey, like, that, that shit's crazy. Like, I ain't gonna pay for that, man. I ain't gonna pay 40 bucks just to actually record a gameplay or two. So I was just like, no, no, no. I'm gonna connect my PS3, gonna connect that shit and play that shit. And hey, I actually played Modern Warfare 3 last night on PS3. And all I wanna say, the graphics, uh, it, it crap. Like, straight up crap. Like, look at this mofo. Like, I can do peekaboo, I see you all day long, and this shit ain't gonna be old. Like, this is never gonna be old. But hey, the gameplay is gold compared to today's Call of Duty. And that is a 100% fact. Like, Modern Warfare 3, that shit is nasty, yo. But ACR is an assault rifle. It has laser recoil. It's known for its accuracy. And it has 30 ammo in the mag and 60 in reserve, of course. That's without us having the extended mag. And extended mag would surely give it a little bump, which is nice and all. But ACR, oh, I really want to see this fact in the next track game. But coming in at our number 9 spot, I'm talking about the... M9 handgun. Now check this out. I will have Battlefield 3 gameplay and I'm gonna go over a little bit now. I absolutely admire Battlefield 3. I have countless hours spent and I remember like I used to actually like binge or not binge, but <laughs> it's not a correct term. I, I used to actually like play this shit over and over and I would stay up late. I would wake up early, play that shit and play Black Ops 2 zombies and everything. This was a real mother effort, right? Like I, I really love this thing and it still has that replayability. Like I actually got Battlefield 3 on PC and I pretty much suck ass with the keyboard and mouse because I could couldn't connect and yeah I, I play with keyboard and mouse because I couldn't connect my PS4 controller or I can connect it but it doesn't really work like the mapping and shit don't ask me alright but the thing is we're talking about the M9 handgun and I have countless hours spent like I said on Battlefield 3 and I remember actually playing or getting in a private lobby with one of my real life friend and we were playing on Bandar Desert which is one of the largest map in Battlefield and I remember getting that three kilometer long range headshot with a sniper rifle and I was like 20 something in the whole world on leaderboard and at that time that should matter folks that should really matter and uh, looking back now I really miss my childhood and uh, that shit is like straight up fire but M9 is a pistol it got 16 ammo in the mag and 48 in reserve of course I'm playing those stats uh, from Battlefield 3 but M9 pistol should be a great addition in the next track game in the multiplayer and even in zombies this should be a great addition what if this is like a starting room pistol right then it's gonna be really really good or let's say if it's not a starting room pistol but it's something that we can purchase off of the wall then it should be a great fun too but at our number eight spot we're talking about the vector k10 now vector k10 is in call of duty black ops 2 multiplayer it got 36 ammo in the mag and 108 in reserve the gun model is absolutely fire it has low recoil love the iron sights as well and i feel like this should be a great addition once again in the next track game maybe not in zombies maybe I'm not totally sure how this is because there are certain guns that I would say that don't need to be in zombies because I feel like that wouldn't make the experience a whole lot better if you know what I'm saying right and vector is definitely that gun that wouldn't fit in zombies but it was certainly fit in the multiplayer but hey at our number seven spot my all-time favorite gun the mp7 now mp7 was in black ops 2 once again and it was also in modern warfare 3 but I'm gonna have black ops 2 gameplay it's better quality so I'm gonna have that instead of having Modern Warfare 3, but Modern Warfare 3 MP7 uh, iron sights were fat as F, right? And in MP7, it was tiny F. It got like 40 ammo in the mag and 120 in reserve. And that shit was a monster, yo. I absolutely love 
the MP7. And I really feel like this would be a great addition in the next game because we haven't really played with my Niba MP7 in a longest time, right? Like, the last time we played was in my Niba Black Ops 2, and in the next try game, this would definitely add that, like, ugh. But coming in at our number six spot, I'm talking about a fat ass by the name of Desert Eagle. Now, Desert Eagle is a fat ass, right? That's codename fat ass, and I absolutely love the Desert Eagle. It has a high kick for sure, and once again, it's a fat ass. It got eight ammo in the mag and 16 in reserve. Basically, you actually pew pew the shit out of it. You reload, pew pew, reload, pew pew, and this shit is straight up fire and I really want to have this shit back in uh, the next uh, Treyarch game because the last time we actually played with this thing was in Modern Warfare 3. I could be totally wrong. Uh, maybe we have it in IW. I, I, I doubt it. It is in IW but hey you get the idea right? Like I'm certainly not the best with video games but this was in Modern Warfare 3 and I really effing miss it. But at our number 5 spot we're talking about the RPD. Now RPD is a real life gun once again and it was in Black Ops 2 Zombies. It, it was like exclusive to Black Ops 2 Zombies and I absolutely missed the heck out of this gun. Uh, it was a great gun. Like this shit was fire yo. It has 100 ammo in the mag and 400 in reserve. It's a lightweight monster. That's what I like to call it. Shells ejecting on this gives me boners like I, I mean that's private information but hey I thought like I, we're cool right I'm pretty sure we're cool right so I mean I'm just gonna let you know what's up but when you pack punch it it has 125 ammo in the mag and 750 in reserve and it's called the Rilla Twistic a punishment device totally butchered that but hey who cares right doesn't matter but at our number four spot or I mean before we jump on to the number four spot I really want the RP Treyarch if you're listening put that mofo in the next zombies and uh, uh, even in multiplayer this should be great fun because if it's a modern era then it totally makes sense to actually have my neighbor RPD in the next multiplayer of this thing called Black Ops 4 or whatever it doesn't matter right but at our number four spot we're talking about the Uzi now check this out this was in Mob of the Dead and I absolutely love this thing and it's called the Uncle Gal when it's path and Mob of the Dead remaster would be a thing so I'm very certain we're gonna get it back and it's called the Uncle Gal which is like a T Caesar. Oh, this is getting really spicy here, but it has 25 ammo in the mag and 275 in reserve And when you pack a punch this B, it still has 25 in the mag, but 300 just a little bump You get an extra mag, which is just like Trey like what are you crazy? Just giving us a little bit more ammo and be like what what like I swear this was nasty yo But it has 300 ammo in reserve like I said and it can happen for sure in mob of the dead remaster in the next track title which may be called Black Ops or who knows, right? But coming in at our number three spot, we're talking about the LSAT, which is a little bit futuristic. I'm not even sure if that shit actually exists in real life, but if it doesn't, I really want some sort of variant, maybe M249 saw would be absolutely like nerve-wracking and m249 saw in zombies would be absolute kick-ass but i'm just gonna talk a little bit about the l set stats it got 100 ammo in the mag and 400 in reserve and it's a little bit futuristic you can see the ammo count on the gun as well it has very low recoil sharp iron sights absolutely love this thing and when you pack a punch it it still got 100 ammo in the mag but this time you get 200 more ammo in reserve in total you get 600 and it's called the fissert or f-s-i-r-t but hey at our number two spot i want to say the m27 this shit was mm, this shit was like really just mm, absolutely love this thing and i'm not even sure like yeah this is me basically i'm not even sure if it's in uh, any other map beside nuketown i really feel like it's only in nuketown it got 30 ammo in the mag and 240 in reserve and uh it does exist in real life i was about to say like it doesn't uh but i actually did some research and shit like that so it does exist in real life and i really want to see this back in the next zombies and in the next track game and i feel like we had like textures in uh black ops 3 because i remember when everyone was saying like hey we're gonna get m27 back in uh, black ops 3 but that didn't happen or maybe it did i'm like super slow like i'm not really catching up with the whole black ops 3 multiplayer but i'm pretty sure it's not in so i really want to even if it's in or even if we get it i, I doubt it uh but i really want to see this back in the next track game that's what i'm saying it doesn't matter about black ops 3 anymore but at our number one spot i want to say or i mean before we get on to the number one
spot when you pack punch the M27. It's called the Mystifier. It got 30 ammo in the mag once again, but 360 this time around. And now coming in at our number one spot, I'm talking about the Mob of the Dead version. It's very important. Only Mob of the Dead version. I'm not talking about a Revelation version. No, 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 no. Not even the Origins remaster version. No, 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 no. I'm talking about the original Mob of the Dead Tommy gun. It got 50 ammo in the mag and 350 in reserve. When you pack punch it, it gets 50 once again in the mag, but 400 in reserve. Should be a little bit higher uh, in terms of ammo in the next game, and it's called the Speakeasy, and in Black Ops 2, it feels real, if you know what I mean, right? And in Black Ops 3, it doesn't really feel that real to me, and uh, this is another one of the gun that gives me boners and everything like that, but hey, that's too much information. Check out some other videos on the screen, subscribe if you happen to be new, and if you didn't enjoyed this video smash the like enter in the giveaway and i'll see you very freaking soon